In today's video, we're opening the most anticipated and most discussed new Yu-Gi-Oh set, Maze of Millennia. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh opening and yeah, you guys have heard a lot about this set. If you've been anywhere near Twitter.com, you have heard a lot about Maze of Millennia. Thanks to the most infamous ultra rare in Yu-Gi-Oh history, the Bonfire, and we've already talked about it on this channel. There is a big ultra rare card in here that's really expensive in the pre-order. I'm guessing it's gonna go down based on what we've seen from the ratios and stuff, but that's not important anyway. We finally have this new set. I know we're a day late because normally I post these on the Wednesday, the first day that Locals gets them. My Locals didn't get them thanks to the weather around me, a bunch of snow and everything. The holiday on Monday, so holiday combined with weather delays means that they didn't get their boxes until late Wednesday. I didn't have time to get it, record it, edit it, post it, stuff like that. So that's why this is a day late. I'm sorry about that, guys. Shout out to Frontline Games for even having these for me, though, because I know I wouldn't have been able to get them at all without them. So shout out to them. It's been awesome. We're going to be opening a case for them tomorrow. So if you you want to see more maze that'll be tomorrow so enough yapping let's get to it and let's open these things up i'm excited for two boxes oh and there's a giveaway for this video every card we pull out of either of these boxes just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what's your favorite card in the set is it bonfire Okay, let's keep going. All right, I have gotten the packs out. We have, I've shuffled them a little bit just for fun. This is a collector rare set, so we're going to be getting... I heard from the uh, early openings, I didn't watch any of them this time, uh, but apparently three or four collectors. Sometimes you can even get four ultras, not collectors. Ultras per box, so I don't know if that's true or not. If we get eight ultras here, that means they've changed the ratios, which would be really nice. Uh, I don't know if there's a pack trick, so we're just going to go straight into it. It's the first opening, so I'm not going to get too crazy. Uh, well, let's open it like this. Contain. Oh, Rux is special. We have Magic Spectre Cyclone. There's not just the Bonfire as well. There's some, what is it? Something Rollback. Let me see what it's called. Transaction Rollback. That's the other big one. That's a huge ultra in this set. Drastic Draw. So we're, that was the fifth, wait. That was the fifth card. Okay, that's normal. Okay, Drastic Draw. We have a, uh, play, who is that? Playmaker? I don't know. One of, one of the main Yu-Gi-Oh characters there, you know drawing something drastic draw so already an ultra that's a good sign for maybe they have improved the ratios there's also an alternate art junk warrior in here now i was gonna say junk synchron not junk synchron junk warrior in here so that's gonna be pretty exciting it's a quarter century it's the only quarter century in the set so we have quarters one quarter century and i think 15 i have to double check the collector rest there's a super right off the bat uh there kaipo oh, was that a dinosaur wait a second got a dinosaur kaido terra okay that's pretty cool and speaking of junk warrior synchro chase so more junk stuff going on a little bit of junk in these packs you love to see it a lot of cool stuff we are going to be searching for uh and by the way the bonfire did come in collector rare we thought originally it went or i did at least i didn't realize they hadn't gotten all of them out yet oh another ultra coming up maybe oh or a collector rare wait it's a reprint isn't it Match Spectre Raccoon Bunbuku. I think this is originally printed in uh, Dimension of Chaos, right? Where are my sleeves? Yeah, this is originally a, a Dimension of Chaos card, I believe. At least it looks similar to one if it's not. Interesting. So we got a reprint collector. That's not, it's not the bonfire that we're really looking for. But hey, a collector rare in two boxes is pretty nice. We'll take it. Unless they increase those ratios as well. But I didn't hear any rumors about that. And speaking of ratios, I did hear that there is a picture, or I did see the picture, of the ratios for the ultras. And it looks like the thrust based on that one picture it was way short printed compared to the others uh, i was talking to uh there we go some people at frontline and they were mentioning it could have been a bad batch you know it's possible that the batch itself didn't have the thrust the amount of thrust it should have so we'll see if maybe it's short printed or maybe that happened so we really don't know earthbound release we'll be opening a lot more packs over the next couple days rux and special earthbound got wait all these earthbound cards got reprinted interesting maybe that's why i sold some earthbound cards on tcg player the other day that would check out i haven't heard much about maze of millennia except for the bonfire thing that's basically all i've heard it's just been bonfire bonfire over and over Burfamet, ah, Burfamet, cuz up. King of Mythical Beasts, that would be a really cool collector rare. We have Jet Synchron, we have Ultra Guys Protocol, Arcane of Force 15, The Fiend, uh, Extinguish, and Magic Spectre Cyclone, okay. So far, we have not pulled any Gazelles or anything cool like that. Gazelle, uh, you know, collector rares. I don't know if those are gonna be here or not. I don't know if I'm gonna do the pack trick the whole time on this, because this is the first opening. Flame Swordsman, oh, another Ultra. This could be a good sign, Reinforce. And a transaction rollback. There we go. This is nearly as expensive as the bonfire from the last I've seen. Not up on TCG player yet because you know, you know, it's not Friday yet. It's Friday. It's really when the prices go down. Keep that in mind before you like go crazy and buy a bunch of play sets of stuff that Friday, a lot of the prices are going to come down. But 
the last I saw that transaction rollback was pretty expensive. So that's already a great pull. And I don't know Chimera, the flying mythical beast. I don't know if we're going to get emergency Phoenix gear blade, eight ultras or not, but that would be actually a really well needed change. I think just to make the cards a little bit easier to pull out of these sets. Oh, I did. I did three. Wait, wait, do that. OK, Earthbound Immortal Askel Piscu. This is good that these got reprints because they did not have a lot of prints of those Earthbound Immortals. Another Rux and Special Ahsoka. Star Wars over here. All right, Ahsoka Pillar. Still got a lot of packs left. Let's let's not uh, let's not get carried away. Still got a lot to go. Alert! If we get the Junk Synchron out of here, this would be pretty crazy. Earthbound Prison. That's a super. I'm guessing that's one per case based on the last the Archlord Christia set, which are whatever that was called, Tactical Masters, maybe. No, that's not. No, that was way before that. It was. What was it? V Valiant Smashers. There we go. I got it. Valiant Smashers. Uh, that was one per case for the QCR. So I don't know if it's going to be different because there's only one QCR in here. It could be even less hard or even harder to pull. Less likely to pull is what I was trying to say. Don't know. Not totally sure. But that's why we do these early openings to figure it out. Let's see. One, two. We have Altergeist. We have Chimera. Emergency. Altergeist. Salamandra. Okay, that's us. Oh, wait, what? The Flying Flame Dragon. It's named after the Salamandra Sword. Is there an archetype around that now? That would be pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that would be pretty cool. All right, so we have a Collector Rare. We have two Ultras so far. We have the Asla Piscu Salamandra Fusion. Wow, is that it? Is that it? That's got to be new, right? Armored XCs. I've never even heard of that. Could be wrong. Could have missed it, but I'm pretty sure that's a new archetype, right? It's the weird thing about these sets. Sometimes they're new stuff. Sometimes they're reprints. So I gotta. I'm not totally sure. Alter Guy's definitely old, but that could be some new support. We found. Pr Earthbound Prisoner, okay, Doppel Warrior, and a Ahsoka Pillar, more Star Wars White Dragon there. All right, what else are we gonna get out of Maze today, at least? By the way, if you guys want some Maze for yourself, Sassiato does have pre-order today, and then after that, it will just be regular order for about a week to 10 days is how long those stay up. Uh, a lot of people ask me like a couple weeks later, I'm like, well, they're down now, so you can't get them anymore. 100 Eyes Dragon. So if you do want to get from Sassy Auto, go check out the links in the description. Use my discount code, get 5% off, and it'll support me with an affiliate. And here we go. We got something here. Another drastic draw. So it looks like both boxes, I would guess, because I did mix these up, had a drastic draw. I don't think that's a great one. I really don't know because I don't have a price guide. So I don't know. We could read it, you know. We could actually read the card. That would be a lot of work, though. We have the Line Walker. We have... Earthbound Line Walker and then the Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker. So I guess the Prisoner is the new upgraded archetype, the Earthbound Servant. Okay, maybe not. Just a bunch of different Earthbound stuff. Okay, I'm going to read this drastic draw. Let's figure out this thing. Banish all monsters you control, minimum two, draw three cards. Oh, you cannot normal or special summon the turn you activate this card except Cybers Monsters. So it's basically a Cybers uh, Marae of Greed, but you have to banish because I think before it was just discard. This is banish. So that could be good for Cybers stuff. I think Cybers overall, the archetype is not like crazy good at the moment. Uh, they do have the access code talker, which is really good, but uh, I don't think overall it's a great archetype. Could be more support in in here. There's the uh, Magic Specter Raccoon that we pulled in Collector Rare. Millennium Revelation was was originally in Legendary Duelist 7, I think. Rage of Raw. So a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of cool stuff. Drastic Draw seems like an okay card. I'm guessing because it's specifically uh, Cyber, so it's not going to be crazy valuable or anything. Oh, we might have gotten some Salamandra with Chain. We got Triangle O. And Harmonic Synchro Fusion. So another Ultra. Harmonic Synchro Fusion. What does this do? Send one tuner, one non-tuner from your face-up field to the graveyard. Special summon both of the following monsters from your extra deck. One synchro monster that could be synchro summon. Use those two monsters. One fusion monster that could be both. Huh, you get to summon both. I'm not gonna like read into that too much because you know, that's getting past my expertise where there's like all these possibilities with it. But it seems like if you're getting a fusion and a synchro summon off of one card, that seems pretty decent. I mean, it's not one because you have to have the materials as well, but okay, the uh Kites, Terra, Cop, Terra, Kyop, Terra. I don't know. Okay, Kodak. Alert! Mirage Swordsman. Flame Swords Dance. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention all the Flame Swordsmen's in here. Flame Swordsmen in here. We have not pulled any of them yet. Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. But one of the main draws of this set for people like you and I, people watching this, probably big fans of the anime and stuff like that, and old school and stuff like that. Yeah, the Flame Swordsman stuff. It's like a Flame Swordsman archetype has been really uh, bolstered in here. Man, I'm Rux and Special and Totem Pole. Problem was, it's really hard to see these names. I feel like they're like double printed or something. Like, look at this. It's very hard to read those. We have Arcana Force. See, the supers is not as hard. Something about the rares, they're very difficult to read. Salamandra Retrain. Have not yet seen a Flame Swordsman card, though. We'd be okay with pulling a Bonfire or a Thrust, though. I wouldn't be mad about that. We have the Altergeist 
something. Ogama. We have Earthbound Prisoner. See, some of them are easier. How many times are we going to pull this? It's like the sixth time. We have a million of those, like double play sets. Satellite Synchron. That seems like a new card. I like that. Seems like a cool card as well. I'm not going to lie. Satellite Synchrons. Good stuff. All right. We got Multi Faker for DZ. For oh, my. The Super Rux and Specials. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Because it's a collector rare set and they're impossible to like open one card at a time, we're just going to open them like this because it makes it a little bit easier not to Rux and Special. Flame Swords Realm. Speaking of Flame Swordsman. Mad Specter Crow Yana, another Dimension of Chaos reprint. Interesting. So Dimension of Chaos was like a target here. It's a lot of cards that I mentioned to Chaos that got reprinted. So I don't know what else there would be, but okay, maybe we got some. Oh, number one, Infection Buzz King. Number one. Wait, number one? Is this a reprint? Surely there's already been a number one before. That's got to be a reprint, isn't it? But I don't know, actually. I've never actually seen number one. Interesting. All right, let's get through these last pack. I'm going a little slow, but it's a new set. You know, you got to take your time. Enjoy it. We got the Stone Sweeper. I think that is a reprint. I feel like I've seen that artwork before. Very creepy. Earthbound Prisoner. But it's Earthbound Prisoner. I thought those feel new. I don't know. Earthbound Prison, not Prisoner. There's That's another one that got reprinted from Dimension of Chaos. Interesting. Dimension of Chaos getting hit with a lot of different uh, reprints. We have the Arcana Force. 15 the fiend we are pulling a lot of the same supers it feels like which i don't think there are usually a ton of supers in these sets so that might be normal mirage swordsman oh we got something harmonic synchro fusion okay so two dupes on the ultras interesting so it's nice that one of them oh it's unfortunate that one of them wasn't the uh, transaction rollback as a dupe uh that's okay though this is still a pretty good giveaway for you guys with the collector rare and everything that puts us at six so if there's anything else in here then they may have increased ratios potentially they could have the collector rare re like replacing the fourth ultra that wouldn't be too bad of a compromise to have four ultras in a box where you don't get a collector rare we have a Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. Super. Very cool. Still a bunch of packs left. Still a bunch of chances to pull anything. We just want to pull something and show they increased ratios. Oh, <gasps> Photon Delta Wing. I think they did. Which you guys may have already seen some of it in the, uh, you know, in the, the early openings. But that puts us at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pulls. One of them being a collector rare. Let's see if that collector rare replaced an ultra. Because if it didn't, that means they really increased their... Oh, whoa. Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Whoa. that Hopefully that's a collector rare. Let me look. Ultimate Flame Swordsman Super Collector. Yes. Oh, that's a sweet collector rare. I don't even have the collector rare. And I know it's a sweet collector rare. Check that out. <laughs> that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Okay, looking promising. Ultimate Flame Swordsman back to back. Very cool. Burfamet. Do we know if Burfamet or anything like that got a collector rare? Because I, I I don't know if we've pulled all 15 yet. Armored XCs. Let me look real quick. Okay, so there's 13. It looks like Fighting Flame Swordsman and Triple Tactics Thrust have not been labeled as collector rares, but they're in the same section. So I guess they're expecting them to have collector rare pack or sets that are collector rare prints that just haven't been added yet. No Burfamet from what I'm seeing or, or uh, Gazelle or anything like that, which would be really fun, but pretty pointless in terms of playability but it would be pretty cool let's see if we can get something else the Cora chloris chaos king of dark world dark world support oh dark world stuff is always fun it's always interesting to see new prints of that we have rescue ace hydrant so the rescue aces are they originally were in a collector rare set and now they're being reprinted in a collector rare set that's so strange okay last what is this eight nine packs something like that let's see what we can get of our 48 we have a phoenix gear blade pretty cool a lot of cool reprints i feel like overall like people were hating on the set saying it's bonfire or bust but i don't know i feel like there's some cool cards in here maybe it's not like super good archetypes which is usually what you want out of the collector rare sets so maybe that's why this is considered not as great we got the stone sweeper but it feels like there's some nice cards in here there's some nice cards there's some big reprints of the thrust which hopefully is not short printed but i don't really know yet uh, Armored XCs, it probably is short printed, you know, knowing Konami. That would put us at, you know, that. We got two big cards in the Ultra slot as well. Turbulence for the Rescue Ace. We've got the Bonfire. We've got the Transaction Rollback. That's three really nice pulls. And then in terms of the general reprints, maybe not as many. I guess Flame Swordsman's really up in it for me because I do like those Flame Swordsman reprints and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, the Ultimate Flame Swordsman is sweet. And okay, these things I feel like are from Dimension of Chaos as well. The donut and everything. Two packs left, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. I guess we're about to find out. If we don't get an Ultra here, it's most likely that... 
the Collector Rare does replace an Ultra, but you get four Ultras in a box. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Last pack magic. I hope you guys have enjoyed the new opening. We'll be opening a case tomorrow. Make sure to check out Sassy Auto. 5% off using my discount code affiliate for me. I appreciate it. And shout out to Frontline Games, my local store, for helping me get this and for providing a case tomorrow. So very excited for that. Uh, shout out to them. We have Rescue. We have Doppel Warrior. Combat wheel. Sorry for the delayed opening, but it's out of my control with all this weather and stuff like that. We have Sun God Unification. Here we go. Satellite. We got something. Wait. Oh, the number one again. So another double on the old three of the same ultras in those boxes. Very strange, but we got eight ultras in two boxes and a collector. So that means you get four per box now if these are consistent with like the normal ratios, which seems like they are based on what I heard in the comments. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dean, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.